Hello my dear viewers, hope you all are doing good at home. Today I am going to explore some culinary skills. I am going to try my hand on a sweet dish called Malpua. Malpua is a traditional and very popular dessert in Odisha. Most people make the Malpua by adding mashed dried banana into the batter. Malpua is a part of Sokala Dupo or morning food served to Lord Jagannath at the legendary Jagannath temple in Puri. Malpua is also an illustrious part of Chappan Bhok served to Lord Krishna on Janmashtami and Govardhan Puja. Now let's see the ingredients required for making Malpua. 1 cup of maida, 1 cup of milk, 4 tablespoons of sugar and 2 tablespoons of semolina. We also need 1 or 2 ripe bananas, 1 spoon of grated coconut, half tablespoon of fennel seeds and 2 cardamoms. And for the sugar syrup, I'm going to take 1 bowl of sugar and 3 cardamoms. Let's quickly begin the process by taking 1 cup of maida into a larger bowl. Here I'm adding 1 or 2 tablespoons of semolina into the maida, not more than that because they may become crisp and hard. For a good aroma, I'm going to add 2 open cardamoms into the dry ingredients. And now I'm going to add 1 spoon of grated coconut into it. Adding fennel seeds gives it a good flavor, so I'm going to add half a tablespoon of fennel seeds. And gradually add 1 cup of milk into this batter. In the meantime, I'm going to blend the ripe banana and 4 tablespoons of sugar in the mixing jar and add this to this batter mix. Mix it really well by gradually adding milk and making out a smooth paste. And let's set this batter for 3 to 4 hours. And now for making the sugar syrup, I'm going to add 2 cups of sugar into a hot pot. Because I'm going to make it in a larger quantity, I'm going to use 2 cups of sugar and adding 2 cups of water into this hot pot. Also remember that the ratio of sugar and water should be 1 is to 1. Stir them occasionally until the sugar melts. We don't have to caramelize the sugar so we will put this in a low flame. Now I'm going to add 3 roughly crushed caramels into this sugar syrup. After 3 to 4 hours, you can see our batter is perfectly ready in a pouring consistency. If you feel it is thick, you can add a little bit of milk or water into this. Oil is also ready hot in a flat pan. So here our sugar syrup has started boiling, so we will turn off the flame. For testing the ideal temperature, I am going to add a drop of batter into the oil. This is the right temperature of the oil and I'll add the batter into the pan, making circular discs. So on the trial basis, I'm only adding 3 malpuas into the oil. Our sugar syrup is almost done. This need not be very sticky. Very gently, let's turn over the malpuas. You can see our malpuas have started bloating. Flip them over very gently without bursting them. Cool, they have started bloating and they have become perfectly round. So let's just fry them for some more time until they become golden. Wow, this just looks golden and perfect. Let's remove them from the pan without burning them. Drain out the excess oil from the malpuas and transfer it to a plate. For a good flavor, I am going to grease them with a little bit of ghee. You can also deep fry the malpuas in ghee but I prefer using oil. And now I'm going to dip them in the warm sugar syrup. I 
Let them perfectly using a spatula or a spoon for 2 to 3 minutes, not more than that. Similarly, I'm going to fry the remaining malpuas by following the same process. So this is our second batch. Nice golden and bloated. I'm going to remove them. Drain off the excess oil and transfer into the plate. Also grease them with ghee. Now transfer them to the sugar syrup. And after plating them, you can just sprinkle some sugar syrup on them and you can garnish with some dry fruits. So here you go licking your fingers. Our Odisha special banana malpuas are ready. And just serve them hot. This is really yummy. Do try this dish and comment in the comment section below. Thank you.